This synod, really for the first time, is saying that we can look at gay unions, uh, not as sacramental marriage, of course, but to find some, something positive in them, to find something to build on if we want to reach these people and include them in our church. Now, this is revolutionary language for the Vatican. Yes, it is. Welcome back to the arena. I'm Michael Corrin. And uh, holy Vatican smoke, I've got a touch of I told you so fever. Back in June, I began a monologue with, and I'm quoting here, I haven't been asked to lead any marches at Pride this year, and frankly, I doubt that's ever likely to happen. I'm still regarded by many in the gay community as an enemy, and I understand that reaction. I've said and written things in the past that, while never intentionally hateful, caused offence and pain. This isn't necessarily relevant in that truth cannot change according to response, but I could and would not say such things any longer. I was wrong. I then went into detail, quite a bit actually, explaining my evolution and how it was uh, far from a denial of my Catholic faith, but a very product of it. And I ended what I said that evening with, and I'm quoting, I'm not prepared to throw around ugly terms like sin and disordered, as if they were clumsy cudgels, not prepared to marginalize people and groups who often lead more moral lives than I do. I'm sick and tired of defining the word of God by a single and not even particularly important subject. If we live we grow. The alternative, of course, is death. End of quote. Now, the reaction after that was fascinating. Myriad emails, the vast majority from gay people and from Christians, kind and supportive, but others from ultra-conservative Catholics and evangelicals, abusive, cruel. I was insulted. I was accused of being a coward and a heretic. Ooh, told that my children's homosexuality was the reason for my change. No, they're all straight. I had speaking engagements cancelled. Various Catholic magazine editors and show producers were lobbied and told they, they should fire me. I, 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 was, I was contacted by very senior Catholics, whom I shall not name, and questioned, sometimes rather fiercely. Now, lo and behold, the preliminary report from the General Assembly of the Synod of the Bishops, Catholic Bishops, has stated that gay people have, quote, gifts and qualities to offer to the Christian community, and that some gay couples provide each other quote, mutual aid to the point of sacrifice and precious support in the life of their partners. Now, the language may seem moderate, even inadequate, but believe me, within Catholic circles, it is downright revolutionary. Remember, the church has up to now taught that homosexuality is intrinsically disordered and a grave depravity. The, the, the truly, truly radical nature of this departure is illustrated by the reaction of, of many on the Catholic right. They are apoplectic, really. Now, various apologists will claim that none of it indicates a real change. It's just about style, and the church still opposes same-sex marriage and so on. But that is mere spin. The door has been opened and cannot now be closed again. I predict quite a few Catholics leaving for the breakaway ultra-Orthodox society of Pius X, but more returning to a church they abandoned long ago because they see a new relevance and a new kindness. It's going to be a long journey and there will be more nasty words, there'll be pain and suffering, but that's how the church tends to work. As for me, I'm still Catholic, my kids are still straight, I've never felt ha happier as, as a Christian, and I now feel a little less lonely. It seems I've got friends at the uh, very highest level.